CMML is a very interesting entity because you know, like it shares uh, common elements uh, with MDS and with malloproliferative neoplasms. But in terms of specific therapies for CMML, there are none. And the interesting thing about CMML is that it can adopt one of two different clinical phenotypes. It can either behave as a malloproliferative neoplasm, depending on the mutations that are like uh, fueling the disease, or it can behave as a myelodysplastic syndrome. So for patients who present with you know, like high white counts, for example, and symptoms such as splenomegaly, so the standard of care has always been, for example, hydria, right? Uh, in terms of uh, myelodysplastic syndrome-like features, uh, the treatment, the only treatment that has been approved actually is hypermethylating agents, right? And nonetheless, there are, uh, so there's a significant need for novel therapies in the realm of CMML. Part of uh, the therapies that I find fascinating and that are currently being investigated for patients uh, you know, with uh, CMML are related to JAK2 inhibitors. You know, like for example, like ruxolitinib is currently being investigated. I think the overall response rate and that was and determined in one phase two trial was like close to 40 percent and with spleen responses that were also close to 40 percent in terms of uh, you know, addressing the size of the spleen and, 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 and in terms of what's coming down the road I, I believe that for example right now like targeting GNCSF particularly that pathway with a, a drug called lencilumab may be a potential option that is fascinating also finally still inhibitor agents are uh, like considerations down the road there are like multiple clinical trials trying to address that question and from a pure you know, like Jack perspective, bacritinib, momelotinib, like all these different drugs that are currently being investigated in primary myeloid fibrosis. So all these drugs and MPNs in general, so all these drugs are currently being investigated in, in CMML as well.